What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna to talk about how you guys can throw a consistent spiral every time. Let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing that it comes to throwing a good spiral, the first thing that comes to my mind that is important is how our grip is, okay? Now a lot of guys like to put their palm, their whole entire palm on this ball and they grip the thing real tight and they think if they grip it tight, they're gonna throw it harder and it's gonna spin harder for them. That could not be more wrong. You wanna have this thing, not in your fingertips, but in the webbing of your hands, these fingers right here. You don't want this ball touching your palm. There should be a gap so if you could see it in between my the palm and the ball right here, okay? Now what that does is it stays in our fingers and we're allowed to spin this thing. You wanna spin this thing off of your index finger. The index finger is the last connection with the ball to the brain. So when you let this thing go, the index finger is the last thing that touches this ball and it rolls off of there and we flick our wrist and snap down to get this ball to spin for us. But we can't get this thing to spin, guys, if we don't have a webbing of our hands on the ball. Now, the grip, a lot of guys like to have this index finger high as they can. And what that does is that keeps this palm off the ball for them. That's a good way to think of it. Some guys like to have it low. I've seen that too. But the most important thing is you don't have your palm on this ball. And we have a nice relaxed grip of relaxing our upper half when we throw. So we can just let this thing roll off our index finger. All right, guys, so now we're gonna talk about our follow through and how we should be releasing this ball, okay? So we already talked about how we have this ball on the fingertips so that it roll off of our index, but what comes after that? That comes, I call it the snap down. It causes the wrist flick more commonly known, okay? So a lot of guys like to turn this palm out and that's how I like to throw it when we extend right here. And that's great. I wanna turn that palm out, that's cool, but I think just a normal snap down like you're almost shooting a free throw is, is going to help. As long as this thing's rolling off of your index and we're snapping down to create this spin off of the ball, either turning our palm out or coming straight down the ball is going to spin for us but now how are we letting go of this thing are you like this are you all short armed and you keep this arm bent or are you extending right at the target that's where we want all the great quarterbacks you watch them their finish is about eight to ten inches in front of this front foot that means they're extending right here they're extending at the target almost like they're throwing darts right at the target snapping down that's how they get so much spin on the ball that's how they're able to get a tight spiral okay so you want to be here we want to flick this wrist either down or out not like this and not pushing the ball. The reason why we push the ball is because these guys can't get their elbow up. And now the reason for that is your posture could be hunched. If your posture is hunched, you can't rotate and this elbow goes low and we end up pushing it. That's why the ball will go like this. And then a lot of guys like to come across their body and their wrist goes like this. They think they're flicking it, but they're going around. And that's when the ball starts to curve on us a little bit. So the most important thing, good posture, keeping this elbow off of our rib cage, right? And extending at the target and snapping down like we're throwing darts. That's how we're going to get some spin on this ball and have a much tighter spiral. All right, guys, so now I believe one of the next keys to throwing a spiral is actually rotating on the ball, okay? You see a lot of quarterbacks that will come here and they'll stay square like this when they finish. I don't agree with that because I think that gets us into this habit of pushing it or having this ball released outside of my frame, okay? And they don't rotate all the way through. When we rotate through, it makes it much easier for us to snap down and create some spin on this ball. The way I think of it is you got some money in this back pocket right here, or your front pocket, and you want to pull this money out of the pocket. You could either let this hand drop or you could rotate all the way through. I rotate all the way through personally, but I've seen the method where they extend and they just drop right at the target. Now, the thing that stays consistent though is they start with the left shoulder on the target and they finish with the right shoulder on the target, okay? That's how we rotate through on this ball. And when we rotate on the ball, the ball's gonna have more rotation for us and the ball's gonna be able to spin for us if we do all the things we prior talked about right. Staying in our fingertips, letting it roll off our index and snapping down. Snapping down with rotation on the ball is a guaranteed way to get this thing to spin for us so we could throw a much better spiral. All right, guys, so one drill we can do to help with our spiral is by just standing. You could do this laying in your bed if you wanted to. You throw this ball up in the air, okay? Now, you might hit the ceiling. That, that's okay. That's going to happen. But the thing is, is we got to be able to lay down, and all we got to do is isolate this motion, and we got to flick this ball up in the air and actually snap down to get this thing to roll off of our index, stay in our fingertips, and get this thing to spin for us, okay? And now when we do that, when we throw this ball up in the air, you got to be very careful that you don't let this thing drop back. We want to have a really compact motion, and it's just a flick straight up in the air. Like I said, you could do this laying down in your bed, laying on the floor if you wanted to, or when you're just standing in line, let's say you're out there working and you got about five other quarterbacks out there. You're standing in line, you could just be here throwing this thing up in the air, getting a nice spin on it, flicking our wrist, having this thing come down. It's not a time, you can stand in line, you can still get reps in, okay guys? You don't have to stand in line and just wait and waste your time. All you do is you stand up here, throw this ball up in the air to work on this spin, work on it flicking our wrist and extending up at the target, okay? That's gonna be a great drill to help you work on the spin of this ball. 
All right, guys, so this next drill is going to help you with this spiral by not allowing your wrist to break, okay? When our elbow dips, what happens is our wrist breaks, and you don't want your wrist to ever break because that makes your palm come underneath it. You guys have probably heard before, you want to throw in a C, you don't want to throw in a U because that means your wrist is breaking. When our wrist breaks, our wrist comes under the ball, and that's what gets this ball to wobble like this on us. So we got to keep this wrist almost steady, and I don't like to say flexed because I don't want to be tense, but straight up and down with our wrist. And all we're going to be doing is we're going to be throwing at this target, you're going to have your elbow nice and up, wrist flexed and you're gonna bring the ball back just a tad and you're gonna flick the wrist snapping down right at the target let this ball roll off of the index okay to get that wrist from not breaking you're just here flick our wrist right at the target almost like we're throwing darts so I'm here right wrist flick wrist flexed right I don't want to say flexed actually but keep this thing straight up and down elbow up nice and easy and to get this thing to snap down for us, to come off of our hands with this down angle, to spin, to roll off of our index, so we can work on getting this nice clean spiral and not having our wrist break. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave in the comments the next video you guys would like to see next on anything quarterback, receiver, or just anything football related. I'd really appreciate that. And please subscribe to this channel. That would also really mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys next time.